Good Monday morning. Well, who knew we could fill up a whole year talking about our mouth? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Maybe some husbands knew this was a possibility, but even some women, I have to say, I don't I don't have as many words as most women, but um, yeah, who knew? I'm just, I think I, what I'm amazed at is when I'm studying at how many scriptures there are on your words. But today I wanted to talk about what happens when you give a timely word. And there are two passages of scriptures I want to point us to. Proverbs 12, 25 says this. It says, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down. Don't we know that? Don't we know when we're anxious and struggling and fearful that it's just like a weight? And often you can see it on people. And it says, but a good word makes him glad. And then one of my favorite passages of scripture is Proverbs 15, 23. It says to make an apt, A-P-T, answer is a joy to a man. Appropriate answer is a joy to a man. And a word in season, oh, how good it is. You know, there is something so beautiful about receiving a good word when you need it most. Whether it's a word of encouragement, whether someone knows exactly what they need to speak to you. Just the other day, I I woke up one morning and I've been wrestling with some personal things and I was really heavy. And on my heart that morning was one of my good friends. And um, I probably should have reached out to her. I think that would have been the obedient thing to do, but I didn't. And lo and behold, I went in a store that I have probably only been in two other times and just thought, I've got a little time. It's Saturday morning. Hattie's still asleep. Philly's probably, who knows what, you know, eating a banana because he eats like healthy things. I don't know why I said that, but he's just so healthy. It's like, I'm sorry, he's so into fruit. And um, I thought, I've got time. I'm just going to walk in here. And lo and behold, who was on the cushion aisle because I was looking for outdoor cushions but my friend who I was thinking about that morning when I was really struggling and what did she have for me she had an apt answer that was hard to hear but necessary and needed and it's so interesting the words that she used were something that the Lord administered to her at a weekend experience of course because, you know, if I just go back and read my own books, I'd learn a little bit of something. But it's so powerful to receive an encouraging word, but it's also a powerful thing to be the one that gives it. To be the one that offers that word in due season. But what that requires is a real sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And one thing that I've learned to pay attention to is when somebody comes to my mind and I can't get them off of my mind or if they come to my mind while I'm praying, um, if I just feel so strongly about them and feel like I need to call them or write them a note, I really have learned to pay attention to that. Even if it's just a text that says, I'm thinking about you, you're really on my mind this morning, I'm praying for you, I'm, I don't know what it's about, but I'm just asking the Lord to meet your need and bless you or whatever it may be. But I have learned to pay attention to those tugs. And do you know what? When we offer them, it is good and it is life-giving and it is healing. So I ask you today to pay attention to those moments when the Lord brings someone to your mind. And then I ask you to ponder, ponder, don't spew, ponder, what the Lord may have you offer. And then watch the joy they receive when you give a word in due season. So ask yourself this question today. No, 
Ask the Lord this question today. Lord, create opportunity for me to be a person who gives a word in due season so I can see somebody smile and be encouraged, maybe even challenged, but exceptionally and undeniably. Thank you.